Sean Connery's ashes have been secretly scattered at his favourite places in his native Scotland. The James Bond star's loved ones, including his wife Micheline, took him on a luxury train yesterday. According to reports, Connery's family visited the Dalmeny estate near his birthplace of Edinburgh, having hired out a train. His loved ones, including his widow Lady Micheline Rockbroom, 92, are said to have spent the last three days scattering his ashes in undisclosed locations. They travelled on the Royal Scotsman train, which is owned by the Louis Vuitton Group. Those nearby saw a fleet of 15 people carriers transporting a group of 50 friends and family of Connery, all dressed in tartan. A source told the Daily Record it was also secretive. I couldn't believe it when I saw Michelin and her party step off the train, they said. A trombonist began playing the famous song, King of the Swingers, from the Jungle Book. Micheline walked very slowly arm in arm with a relative to her waiting car. She was small and petite but very, very glamorous and she was dressed in a beige cream colored outfit as if she were going to a wedding. Everyone had on some sort of tartan. The onlooker added that the trip had all built up to the final destination of Edinburgh. He admitted he thought it was brilliant to see the classic train, and compared it to a scene from a film. Connery's granddaughter Saskia was spotted at the Balmoral Hotel, wearing a green, blue and red dress. The group then visited the stunning Dalmeny House estate to host a celebration of the actor's life. Dot according to reports, they were also joined by Connery's 59-year-old son, Jason, and his friend Alex Salmond, the former First Minister of Scotland. Connery died aged 90 in October 2020 after a brutal battle with dementia. His family said that he had been ill for some time and for the last two years of his life was in very large discomfort. Close friend of the star and former F1 driver Sir Jackie Stewart lamented that it was a sad sight to see his friend struggling with a terrible illness. More recently, his widow Lady Micheline Rockbroon, who witnessed firsthand the dreadful impact the disease had on her husband, pledged $1 million to help find a cure for dementia. Having seen the dreadful impact dementia had on Sean, particularly towards the end of his life, our family feels privileged to support the vital research being undertaken, she said. We hope this gift will contribute to treatments to cure and prevent dementia, and in the meantime support those suffering from more caring for a person living with dementia. Sharing more about her husband's personal experience with the progressive disease, Lady Rock Brune said that it was no life for him and his final wish was to slip away without any fuss. 